Good day, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Military and Foreign Affairs Network. I am your host, the Voice of Reason. Today, uh, this uh, February 19th, 2022, we're going to have a quasi-lesson in insanity, and it really kind of uh, harkens back to uh, my previous video when I talked about some mistrust that I had in the uh, current administration, and I wanted to elaborate specifically around the, uh, the the primary reason that I have this mistrust in the uh, the Biden administration, and, and and quite honestly, it has nothing to do with with uh, where I stand on the last election. It, it's really irrelevant, completely irrelevant in in this specific matter. And it it goes back to uh, to 2013 when uh, when Joe Biden uh, gave his son uh, Hunter Biden, a cocaine addict, uh, a direct commission in the uh, United States Navy. So first, you have to understand how one becomes a a officer, and it could be in in the Army, the the, the naval, the Navy, Marine Corps, Air Force. Coast Guard, what have you. These are very coveted positions, and it is not easy uh, to become an officer in the United States military, and especially uh, if you go the uh, the Naval Academy route or the West Point route. Uh, usually, uh, if you're going to become an officer in the U.S. military, uh, one of the main routes is uh, going through the uh, one of the United States uh, military academies. And uh, those are here, as you can see, the U.S. Naval Academy uh, in Annapolis, Maryland. Uh, you have the uh, Army's uh, Academy at West Point, and then you have the uh, the Air Force down in Colorado Springs, Colorado. And uh, again, that is uh, one of the primary ways that you get into the United States military as an officer. The next way uh, is to go get your college degree, and then and then at the same time uh, go through. A, a ROTC uh, course, a, re a recruiting uh, officers training corps, uh, and uh, that is another way. But again, you go through that process, you get your degree, you're in a, a paramilitary type environment, you're testing, you understand the traditions uh, behind the the whatever service branch that you are you are going through, whatever the the, the type of of ROTC uh, that you are that you are uh, putting yourself through or have been allowed to enter, and uh, and then finally, you have uh, uh, you do have officer candidate school as well, but again that is a a, a fairly lengthy process uh, to obtain that commission. And then finally, you have, um, well, next to finally, you have a, a direct battlefield commission where uh, you are a, a non-commissioned officer, usually a more senior non-commissioned officer, uh, and your lieutenant is killed in action, and they give you a, a battlefield commission. And again, usually that's only in times of high intensity uh, warfare, such as what we saw in, in World War II, or, or maybe even the, uh, the Korean War to some extent. But uh, the last way is what they call a direct commission. So a direct commission, uh, where that really comes into play is if the military believes that you have a skill set that uh, they absolutely have to fill, and the only way that they can fill it is with this direct commissioning process. And normally speaking, in, in the modern era, those direct commissions are really centered on um, advanced medical degrees. So if you are a surgeon, maybe a plastic surgeon, um, and you have advanced skills that uh, you, have, you have spent years and years and years in school, obviously, and uh, they need you, then they could possibly give you a direct commission. Another big issue right now is cybersecurity. Uh, we have seen that there has been a deficit in certain skill sets in cybersecurity. So if you are a cyber genius and they want to recruit you into uh, the military as an officer, uh, there are certain allowances to do that as well. But again, those are usually the, the primary reasons that they would, they would recruit you. Hunter Biden is, is an attorney and they have plenty of JAG officers. And uh, the, the need to recruit attorneys in the direct uh, commission program 
is just something that is that is really not necessary. They have plenty of applicants for that, and uh, ordinarily speaking, they they are they are able to go through uh, either a an academy or do some sort of a ROTC or uh, other uh, type of program. They don't need to do these these uh, direct commissions, but they allowed that for uh, Hunter Biden. Furthermore, Hunter Biden was 43 years old when he was given his direct commission. So a 43-year-old, somewhat of, of, of a practicing attorney, he, he, he really has not done a lot. And a lot of what has been given to him has been through his relationship, obviously, with his father, who is a political figure. And at the time, when he received that direct commission, uh, Joe Biden was the vice president, so he had the power to give him that direct commission. And I believe Joe Biden misused his power to give his drug-addled son a direct commission. There is absolutely no way Joe Biden did not know his son was, a, was uh, addicted to cocaine and, and currently using cocaine. Matter of fact, it was so it was it was uh, taken with uh, such horror and disdain that that Joe Biden was was giving uh, this this idiot a direct commission that uh, the day Hunter Biden shows up uh, for duty he's given a urinalysis and fails it so that gives you an idea of of just how despicable this was and again that that is a slot that was given to to Hunter Biden that uh, that that some kid who has excelled in in uh, in, in high school and uh, has probably been in some sort of athletics and really wanted to to join uh, as as an officer and get into one of the uh, uh, the academy programs or it's a slot that some some cybersecurity whiz wasn't able to uh, to get because he decided to to do this for his uh, for his son. And it's not, and this is not talked about, and it was never talked about during the campaign, and very few people uh, even know know about it. And if you don't believe me, go research it, and you'll find out for yourself. But Hunter Biden should have never been given a direct commission, even if he was much younger and not addicted addicted to drugs and 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 had this nefarious past history. And uh, e even then. Because his skill set really just did not match what normally the direct commission process is used for. And then you throw in all this other stuff where he's using cocaine, he's 43 years old, and I mean it just doesn't make any sense. And it's just really despicable and just shows you uh, the, the type of integrity that Joe Biden has to do that. I, I mean, if, if I knew that if I was in that position of power and I knew that that one of my children um, had the same issues that Hunter Biden had, there's no way in hell that I would do that. And, and I, I doubt very seriously anyone of any integrity knowing that their, their, their son probably doesn't merit a direct commission, plus... He's snorting cocaine and has all these 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 life problems that just that that he, he it's just not a right fit. But yet he did it, and uh, it it uh, it's never really taken off where the general public talks about it or understands what uh, what happened with this. But but really kind of unprecedented, and uh, no one talks about it. It's just it's just kind of allowed. So that is why. Uh, anything that Joe Biden comes out of his, his mouth, uh, I don't believe him. Have a good day, everybody.